Hi everyone, welcome back to the IT and Psychology YouTube channel. Today we are going to be discussing the exercise solutions for chapter 7 of psychology that is first aid in mental health. Uh, I uploaded the videos for the first 7 chapters that include the exercise solution as well as the concept explanation and uh, the first 5 chapters for our IT that is the SOPs for the first chapter and the third chapter, advanced web designing and advanced JavaScript. I've also uploaded the concept explanation and exercise solutions for all the first five chapters. Actually, the first six chapters. The explanations for e commerce and e governance are still to be uploaded. And we'll slowly move there. We are uh, success. We have successfully reached 684 subscribers on our YouTube channel and 120 subscribers on our uh, telegram channel that is a really a big thing that is impressive at this point for the support you guys have given and again if you have any doubts pertaining the topics taught in this video or the topics taught in previous videos you can contact me on the same telegram group i'll be uploading mock tests by february end or so and uh, we'll be completing all of that so that you guys receive a proper revision before you go for an examination and uh, we move forward and please again uh, please like share and subscribe if you uh, want this video to reach uh, to students who are in the similar condition as you are because many colleges haven't opened as of now so that they also get the same content you are watching and they can educate themselves with what has to be learned and what does not and accordingly they'll uh, at least they'll score a good uh, a good marking uh, criteria so that they can actually not blame their situations and they can read somewhere and accordingly let's start without further ado we'll start with our question one fill in the blanks sub question one one of the major obstacles to getting help from a mental health professional is the dash attached to mental illness that is option B, stigma. One of the major obstacles to getting help from a mental health professional is the stigma attached to mental illness. Then we have the second sub question. Friends and family are not a substitute for dash. Friends and family are not a substitute for professional help. Then we move forward to the next question. In our culture, the dash of an individual is considered to be the reflection of one's family. So, the answer here is, in our culture, the behavior, option B, behavior of an individual is considered to be the reflection of one's family. Then we have the next question, that is, individuals who experience dash commonly have a negative thinking style, that is, depression. Option A, individuals who experience depression commonly have a negative thinking style. So, this was our fill in the blanks then you move forward to our question 2 that is answer in 25 to 30 words the first sub question says describe the term mental health first aid mental health first aid mhfa is an internationally recognized training program designed to teach people how to identify the signs and symptoms of mental health and provide assistance on a first aid basis then we have the second sub question what are the stigmas attached to mental health illness or the mental illnesses the stigmas attached to mental illness illustrate our negative attitude towards illness we think that mental illness is a personal failing or weakness illness is caused as punishment for sins the person is intentionally behaving in an inappropriate way. So these are the kind of stigmas or the stereotypes that bring about changes in the society or make people look differently towards people who are actually having issues. Then we have the third sub question. Anxiety disrupts day to day functioning of an individual. State two predispositional factors contrib contributing to anxiety. So the two factors are genetic factors and brain chemistry. Genetic factors are individuals who have family history of anxiety are at a higher risk of suffering from anxiety issues. 
brain chemistry imbalance of certain neurotransmitters then we move forward to our question 4 your friend confided in you that he is suffering from anxiety suggest two self help strategies to help him deal with this issue so the two strategies would be deep breathing techniques or engaging in meditation using laughter as a tool to reduce the intensity and efficacy of anxiety then we move forward to our question 3 answer the following in 80 to 100 words list the common reasons why most people usually do not seek help during mental illness so the common reasons are the culture advice from elders and superstitions reasons due to which the most people usually do not seek help during mental illness are culture in our culture a person behaves or a person's behavior is regarded as a reflection of his family the stigma attached to mental illness prevents people from seeking professional help as it might hurt the feeling or the reputation of the family advice from elders many times we take elders advice to solve our problems so people might incorrectly believe that the guidance of elders will be sufficient to cure the mental illness and do not feel the need to seek professional help then we have superstitions individuals who believe that mental illness is caused due to sins or due to supernatural forces are less likely to go to a professional they don't think the illness can be treated by modern medicine and psychotherapy instead they prefer going to untrained professionals this was our question 3 then we move forward to our question 2 explain the algee model in your own words so here we have the the algee model that we have learned in the second part of first year in mental health as it is uploaded already So we'll be digging into it again. So if you want to see the video, it's in the uh, the link has been mentioned in the description below. Just click on that, and you'll find our detailed explanation video on uh, this model. So the first one, uh, the first letter describes a step in our uh, model. So approach, assess, and assist in any crisis. When we observe that someone is in distress we should not remain quiet because of the fear of offending him rather we should approach the person and assess his behavior through observation we also need to help him in whatever way we can then we have listen non judgmentally that is our second letter we should try to understand the person's feeling without passing any judgment or criticizing him it does not imply that we should agree with everything he is saying it means that we should understand his struggle and show empathy towards him give support and information we should genuinely support the person to make him feel that he is not alone in this when he knows that he matters to us it will make him feel better with the support he would give or he would be able to have better control over the situation then we have e encourage list encourage appropriate professional help we should encourage the person to seek help from counselors and clinical psychologists we should make him realize that there is nothing abnormal about going to a mental health professional and then we have our last uh, letter to be described that is encourage self help and other support strategies we should encourage the person to engage in activities that will help him maintain sound mental health we should also ensure that the person has support of all his loved ones while he is healing from the problem so please uh, note that note this down just pause it rewind it and uh, note the point the last pointer that i've just read out is i have forgotten to uh, attach that file or that image in this pdf i apologize for this mistake just rewind and just listen to that 
and uh, that will be the last point or the last letter to be described in the ALGEE -E model. Then we have the third question. Enumerate the various symptoms an individual with anxiety disorder exhibits. So there are three types of symptoms. Physical, psychological and behavioral symptoms. Firstly, we will be looking at physical symptoms. Heart palpitations and rapid heart rate. Shortage of breath, dizziness or headaches. Restlessness, tremors and shaking are some of the physical symptoms. Psychological symptoms. Mind racing or going blank. Difficulty in concentration, forgetfulness, irritability, impatience and anger problems in decision making. Behavioral symptoms. Avoiding people and situations. Repetitive checking. Strong urge to escape the situation are few behavioral symptoms. Then we move forward to our question 4. Justify with the help of examples what over dependence on the internet means. Over dependence on the internet is characterized is characterized by an intense desire to use the internet, inability to control oneself while using it and facing difficulty in stopping the use in spite of the realization that one should not spend so much time on it. It is also associated with the psychological and physical ill effects. For example, people who are addicted to social media countless spend countless hours on it. They have constant desires to check their account for updates even when they realize that it results in a waste of time. They have a compulsive desire to continue doing so. Their sleeping and eating pattern might also get disturbed due to this behavior. Question 4. Analysis and sorry, analyze, analyze the following case study. Sujata is now a sad and lonely girl. She has cut off herself from all her relatives and family friends. She does not participate in any college programs or family functions. She is mostly found in the library all by herself. She has lost her health confidence. At home, she prefers eating in the bedroom and honestly and mostly indulges in television or mobile activities. Apply the ALGEE model and help Sujata to evolve in her mental health. So, upon observing the changes in Sujata's behavior, her friends and family can approach her to try and understand the underlying causes from behind her behavior. It will make Sujata feel that her loved ones are genuinely concerned about her they can non-judgmentally listen to Sujata, that is, they should not impose their own views and opinions on her. Instead, they can listen to her without passing any judgment. It will enable Sujata to speak more freely. They can also make Sujata realize that she can open up to them, and they will always be ready to help her out. It will make her feel supported. They can also encourage Sujata to seek help of a mental practitioner, mental health practitioner, professionals help will aid her to effectively cope up with the situation and arise successful. Then we have the last step that is family and friends can also encourage Jata to engage in social interactions, cultivate positive thinking pattern, participate in college activities or family functions, reduce her digital involvement and pursue anything that she is good at. All of this will boost Sujata's confidence, improve her social relations and thereby help her in maintaining sound mental health. So these were the steps on how an ALGE model can be applied on a typical case study. And accordingly, we'll uh, use the ALGE model in our daily life as well. If you have... Then, uh, if you think you have the ability to help someone, but after some point, please do not force those actions on them. Tell them to receive mental health, uh, mental health from any practitioner or professional because that might be more helpful than uh, the gyan you give. So accordingly, this was our uh, these were our exercise solutions for our chapter seven, first aid in mental health, and accordingly we'll be posting videos for the. SOPs and the different chap uh, 
topics that need to be covered again for our revision and uh, a few revision links or zoom links will be uploaded on the telegram group where we where we'll keep uh, revision lectures in order to give you a proper uh, revision and a mock test will be uploaded on the same group so please like share and subscribe and uh, if you have any doubts pertaining to the topics taught in this video or the topics taught in previous videos please contact me on the telegram group and your doubts will be cleared and accordingly we'll move forward so again thanks for watching stay safe take care and and keep studying